The last pattern in the Dealing with Generalization series is the opposite of the previous pattern, and this one is called Replace Delegation with Inheritance. The motivation here is that you're using delegation and are often writing many simple delegations for an entire interface. In our example here, we have this person object, which has a name, a calculated last name property, a phone number, probably would have a lot of other simple properties as well. And then we have this employee object, which encapsulates this delegated person, just like we saw in the previous pattern, and then delegates things like name and phone number to that encapsulated member. And of course it has its own implementations here as well, and its own other functionality that's specific to an employee. Now maybe there was a reason earlier in the code base for using delegation instead of inheritance. Maybe there was some functionality exposed by a person that shouldn't be exposed by employee. But as we cleaned that up over time and improved our abstractions to match the real world objects that we're modeling, we found that anything exposed by a person is also exposed by an employee because an employee is, of course, a person. And so what we're finding is that whenever we make any change to the person class, we have to make the same change to the employee class, but use more code to do it. That's becoming a lot of maintenance overhead that this code base generally doesn't need. And we're really just repeating functionality that we already have. So we're going to replace this delegation structure with an inheritance structure. First thing we're going to do is inherit from person and then mark these as new so that the compiler knows that they are brand new implementations to hide the parent class implementation. This would be an opportune time to recompile, run any tests that we have, make sure we haven't broken anything. And indeed we haven't, these aren't breaking changes yet. But now one at a time, we can start removing these delegations and allowing this inheritance structure to handle it for us. So we'll start with removing this phone number. And now any consuming code that was calling phone number on an employee is just going to get the phone number property on the person. And so this would be another opportune time to rebuild and run any tests that we have. We'd find that those tests all pass so we haven't broken anything. And now we can do the same thing with name. We could recompile and run all of our tests, although we know that one of those tests is going to fail, and that's whatever test covers this, because now person.lastName is not going to match the last name from the inherited person. It's just going to match this one, which is null or empty. And so we just need to get rid of that delegation at the same time. Now we can rebuild and run, our, run all of our tests again. We find that, again, no, nothing has changed, nothing is broken. And now we're finding that nothing uses this private member person that's previously been used for delegation. And so since nothing uses it and it's private, we can safely remove it entirely. And now we've reduced all of that duplicated code, gotten rid of that cluttered delegation, and replaced it with a very simple uh, inheritance structure. That's it for Replace Delegation with Inheritance and for the Dealing with Generalization series. Thanks for watching.